Okay. Okay. So where were we? So uh, in Quark. In Quark. An old program. With shapes. With shapes. Basically, you take what I do is take a photo box, and I used to do it with text boxes. But then, if you if your box gets too little, the type will always have a little red <laughs> mark saying something's missing, and then it bugs me because I see this little red. <sighs> placeholder. <laughs> yeah, a little X, you know that little, I don't know if you know, court, that little circle with, like a square with an X in it, and it's red, and it shows up all the time on your screen, not if mm. you printed it. But. So I would take a uh, photo box, a square rectangle or a circle photo box that's in the, the little column of tools. You create the box, you pick a color, you color it in. <laughs> Boom. Boom. And then you get to play with the colors. But that's how it starts. Say I would do a uh, purple box. And then um, I'll draw red long skinny boxes, rectangles, and for the arms. And I layer them on top of the purple one. And I'll draw, um, I think I drew like the purple oval first for the head of this, of this purple guy. Uh huh. And then I draw a yellow oval next. Uh huh. And then I take that purple rectangle that I've already drawn for his body and bring it to the top. It's just all about layers and cork. <laughs> and then same thing, I add the ears, draw little ovals for the ears, make them blue, add that, put that one on top, stick these behind the purple. Can you see this at all? I can, yeah. Okay. And well, how did you know they would look like I, real people? I didn't really, just, honestly. It was but empirical. It was, it was playing with them and then also trying to see who what, the, what are the personalities behind each robot? And they do have personalities. They sure do. And honestly, like um, the tie on the green robot showed up. The taller ro of the two robots kind of reminds me of my youngest son. Because when he showed up on his fifth birthday party, he came downstairs wearing a tie and a pirate hat. That's true. And the, the older, my older son, he's not shorter he just um he's more interested in outer space and music and um superheroes he was a huge superhero fanatic my youngest son the tie wearer pirate hat guy also wanted to be a chef and then that plays into this too your two boys are the inspiration for the book they are well actually i blame my sister denise because we were um we were always trying to top each other as sisters. <laughs> She's only a year yeah. younger than I am, so we were each other's best and worst friends, and all that yes. goes along with that. That's what this so is. I blame her for that, Yes. but that's, see, that way I get, to, I get the final top. <laughs> 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 see, Denise, she'll never see this, so it's okay. <laughs> she won't. I would say don't tell her I said that. <laughs> Denise, <laughs> Denise doesn't do that. Okay. But, but the personalities, are they remind me a little bit of Denise and me, but I think that's more just the general friends who are competing um, and then some of their personalities remind me of my sons and it's just but they're not this I won't say that this is one son and this is the other it's just bits and pieces of, of both of them